gonna show you how to knit the beautiful herringbone stitch in your arms, with your arms. So all you need are your arms, your hands, and some thick yarn. This is um, Hobby Lobby Showstopper, and it's beautiful, and it's cheap, because it comes in at $10 per skein. Um, I'm actually going to show you with this color today. Um, these blankets measure about 17 by 15 inches. We're gonna do 10 stitches across, which I'll show you how to do. And then um, I think it's seven or eight up. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll show you how to cast on and bind off as well. Um, so I just wanted to say you never leave a newborn baby in this. This is newborn props for photography because um, they could get hurt because this is uh, it sheds very easily. Um, and then also the camera angle is difficult. I have it over my shoulder so you can see what I'm doing. And I apologize if it's hard to see, but I tried my best to make it as easy as possible for you to see. So uh, with that being said, let's jump right in and please subscribe and also leave pictures of ones that you've done in the comments because I'd love to see. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our slip knot. So take your yarn and hold it like this. Put your hand through and pull through to make a loop, see that? Kind of tighten that up just a little bit. Put it on your arm, and there's your slip knot. Now don't make it too tight. The herringbone stitch is very, very um, tight. So now we're gonna cast on, and to do that, we're gonna take our hand here, pull the yarn. See that? And then put it through, and that's it. We're gonna do 10 of these. Take your thumb under, Just put your hand through, just like that. And like I said, we don't want them to be super, super tight. I'll show you one more time, really slow. Thumb under. See, there's your loop. And put your hand through. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay. Now what we're gonna do to do our herringbone stitch is we're gonna take our working yarn and we're gonna take two loops. You see the two right here? Two stitches? We're gonna take our yarn, push it under both of them, pull it through, you make a loop here, see that? Now what you're gonna wanna do is pull this back yarn that way and put your hand in. Now we're gonna pull one off. So what we're left with is this one sticking out of this one still, but that's okay, we want it like that. So then we're gonna go to the next two, stick it under Working yarn, turn it around, and put our hand through. Pull this one off. The first row is gonna be a little more difficult than the others. So here we go. One, two. And then turn it around, put your hand through. Okay, there's your two. And remember, we're trying not to make this super, super tight. Here's our working yarn. And turning it around. And we just slip that stitch off. bit of yarn out and get some yarn going so it's not so tight. Okay. I am gonna tighten that up just a little bit. Okay. So we got our two going here. Gonna stick it through. It's 
gonna get even more difficult down here at the end, but that's okay. Just try and be careful with your yarn. Don't mess it up. If you do, just put it, just brush it, <laughs> brush it back in place. That's what I do. Let me show you what we do at the end. Okay. Slip this one off. Now look, I'm trying to be slow. So we're just gonna slip that one off. This stitch is the one that would still be on our arm. And all we're gonna do is just stick our hand right through it. Just like that. And this is what we have so far. So this is actually gonna be the front of our work. And we're working from this way. So the way I work is I hold it against my body like this. And it's just easier to get it through. Let me check the camera and see if you guys can see that right quick. We take our first two. Slide it in. This is our working yarn. Turn it around and put your hand through and slip that one off. Just like we did on the other side. So, one, two. and slip this one off just like that one two show you how to bind off with this pattern. Basically we're gonna do the exact same thing we were doing except there will be one extra step. So we're gonna go behind take the two just like we were doing and through one off okay go behind take two I mean go through two Take one off. Now, all we have to do, take this one and put it over. And we're left with one. And this is how we're gonna bind off all the way down. So, underneath our two, get our loop, pull this one off, and pull this one over. Two around, pull this one off, pull 
this one over. Underneath our two. Get our hand through, pull this one off. Pull this one over. Like our last one. We're just gonna slip it on just like with our other rows. Pull it over. Just like that. And then we're going to see if I like that. that is and now all we have to do is hide our ends so what we'll do is we'll cut this to about here and then weave it into the back of it very simple this is the back side it's actually really really pretty too to bind off we're going to switch arms meaning this is where you're working on and this is where we're coming from we're actually going to take these and put them this is just the e easier for me um, you could just do it backwards um, the other way, like going front, but this is just easier for me. So, so this was the right side here, and we're going to go on this side, take two, just like we were doing on the other side. And so to bind up, we're going to do the exact same thing on that side, and we'll add a step. So we're going to pull it through just like that. We have one over here. Go through two like we've been doing. Turn it around. Pull it off. And then here's the new step. You just take the one that's in the back and pull it over the one in the front. That's it. So once again, we're going to take two. Pull it through. Pull this one off and then pull it over that one. Push through two, pull it through, take this one off, and then pull this one over. Through two, pull it off, and then pull this one over. Very simple. two, turn it around, pull it off, and over. Here two, pull that one off, and push this one over. Here two, make your loop, pull it off, and pull it over. Through two. So we're on our last one. We just pull it through and push it over. Put your yarn through. And then we're going to hide it in the back here. This is the back side, which is really, really pretty. And this is the front side, which is also really pretty. This is what we were trying to make. So, um, I like, I prefer the second bind off because it matches that side better. And that's why I wanted to show you two bind off methods. It looks better on the front and the first bind off method looks better on the back. So we can pull the blanket out a little bit and see what we have here, how pretty it is. And then we just take our ends and just hide them 
in this little step here. That's all I have to do. And remember, you would never leave a newborn in this unattended. This is just for props. Pretty, that's beautiful.